What's up, Slingshot Audio Garage? I <clears throat> welcome back to In the Lab, episode number ten, and uh, I am Jonathan Taylor, and with me as always is Ted Hernandez, my technical guru. And tonight we've got Jack with Underground Auto Styling, and uh, we've got a got a couple other guests that will pop on a little bit later with him. But so, how's it going, Jack? Man, how you been? And uh, I think uh, we're, well, actually, before we get into that, we wanted to uh, touch base on the charity auction that's going on at the Sling Experience. So, uh, Ted, you want to give them the list, the rundown on who's giving away what, and when when we plan on making that live? And they'll make okay, so I'm going to post everything. I'm going to post everything around 10 a.m. tomorrow Central Time, uh, 11 o'clock Eastern Time. I'm going to post everything, around. and uh, we'll get a little listing of uh, everything for you. Get pictures for you, and I'll make an individual post where you can start clicking on the links. And uh, it'll take you to what you're actually bidding on. So we're going to put them out there one at a time, and you can bid on them. Highest bid uh, wins the product. And the actual product's going to be coming from the manufacturer. If they have them at the Slingshot, I mean, sorry, uh, Sling Experience, and you're there, then you can take them right then and there. If not, then uh, they'll have to ship them to you. It does not come from us. It comes directly from the manufacturer or whoever is donating the product. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and hang on one second. Let me get that for you. All right, so the first one we have is going to be RCB is donating a splitter kit. And I believe the value of that is $900,000, somewhere in there. Um, Ingrid Slingwana has donated a care package. And uh, it's pretty cool. There's a lot of stuff in there that you can carry around that will definitely help you out. Uh, Moet the Painter is donating a 10-inch concrete audio subwoofer. And not only that, he's also uh, donating two compression horns, uh, concrete audio, the CT500s. Those are very nice. Um, we also have uh, Rob Leffler. He's donating two F1 boxes. Uh, we're also getting some from Alex uh, Repesto at uh, House of Sound. Um, I got to get with him and, and, and uh, get what it is. And Paula is donating a Bionic LED mask. So those are the ones that everybody's going to be bidding on. Remember, it all goes to a good, a good cause with the Pediatric Brain Tuber Foundation. Mm -hmm. And uh, should be uh, some fun auctions. Uh, Tell them about when we're going to shut everything down, Jonathan, um, the times and everything. As far as, um, you know, we'll, we'll do the bidding probably up to like maybe maybe like an hour before we actually do the drawing. So um, it's going to be, uh, I think we decided we're doing it on Friday night, right, Ted? Was that it? Yes. During the, during the live with uh, the Amigos, so at the Sling Experience. So we'll, uh, we'll shut the bidding down about an hour before. That way there's no weird, you know, anything that pops up. So we'll know who won, you know, an hour before. And uh, then we'll announce the winners. So that'd be that'd be a good deal. It's for a good cause, you know. It's not for the it's not for the people that are selling the product. It's not for us. It's for the Pediatric Brain Tumor Foundation and uh, Dana's charity. It's a it's a really good deal. You know, it definitely helps people out. So we're excited about that. So now now we go back to the the beginning intro, which is Jack, Mister Underground Auto Styling. So uh, how's it going, man? How you been? Doing well. How about yourself? Hey, yeah, good, good. I'm sure you're uh, definitely. Staying busy, you know, trying to get ready for all these events coming up. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, right after Super Bowl, which is the last time I, I think uh, I saw you, we, um, uh, we're we opening a shop in Colorado. So we've been there up until maybe a couple of weeks ago, nice. a few weeks ago. And uh, so a little different flying back and forth every week to pick up London and uh, bring her and drop her back off. Mm -hmm. But uh other than that, yeah, the shop's been crazy busy. I mean, you know, there's four seaters every day being dropped off to stretch and mm -hmm. everything else. It's crazy. It's it, tell us a little bit about the shop in Colorado. So, what does it do different? Does it do the same thing? It's just a different. Uh, so it's get, right now. It's a satellite. It's a un um, unstaffed location until until we get it a little bit um, more finished. 
But the reason we opened it is because we have a lot of people in uh, like Vegas, California, from the West Coast, basically, and mm -hmm. Florida, which is where we're located, um, is a little far to transport. So we're getting people dropping off in Colorado and then we'll um, handle the logistics back to Florida um, and then and then and then back. We uh, um, we're going to run. Uh, we'll have some product out of there. We will do some installs. We'll do some stuff. But that's only once we staff it correctly uh, with the right personnel. Um, we have some rentals out there. Some we have a four seater slingshot, a six seater slingshot. Uh, I've got a couple Broncos and Jeeps. Um, you know, because you can't obviously it's not year around with slingshots over there. We're up at uh, 9,500 square feet. So we're, we're up in the Rockies in the mountains. So nice, beautiful, beautiful rides, beautiful weather. Um, you know, but you definitely lose a few months of, uh, riding season up there. So, yeah, yeah. It's a different, it's a different kind of riding. I took my four by four up there in January and we went and did donuts and everything in the, in the mountains. We were at about 9,500 feet too. It was fun. Yeah. Yeah, that doesn't that doesn't seem fun at all to me. I guess I've I've been in Texas well, my, Texas my whole life, so it's like it's hot. I'm used to it just being hot. It's hot. We're, we're good. And then you see people or see you you know snowing and skiing and all that. I'm like, nope, that's not even. It doesn't even look fun, you know. Like I, we went to Vermont, you know, for my wife's graduation. And it was like it wasn't even snowing, but it was so cold. I'm like, that, I don't want to be here. Like it's not even fun. Yeah. But, I don't know. I get it. It's where we are. It's a different cold. Like, you know, we literally had our doors open and, and t-shirts on, even with the snow. It's nice. It's, it's a different cold. I don't know. When it's fit, when it's, when it's 70 degrees in Florida, you're wearing a sweater freezing, yeah. you know, when it's 30 degrees to where we are, I mean, it's, it's just beautiful. So it's like different. I don't know. Yeah. Your, yeah. Body, your body's probably confused right now. Yeah. yeah. That's what it is. Yeah, no, definitely. But, um, no, so we haven't, um, so I haven't been at the shop much up until, and then of course, uh, the kickoff season was both two shows in Florida, one in Tampa, one in uh, Jacksonville, uh, mm -hmm. a Riders for Life, and then a, um, um, and then a um, SS just, Takeover. So, you know, we have to go to those. I mean, they're local shows uh, for yep. Florida. So, you know, we, uh, with everything going on, we still made it there and, uh, Mm -hmm. Got to see everybody and uh, meet a bunch of new people, and it was they, they were two fantastic shows that were uh, really did well. Mm -hmm. And I know, um, uh, maybe you, you guys did good too, right? Yeah, it was pretty, <clears throat> it was a good showing on both ends, yeah. So, I mean, it was a little last minute, so you know, we weren't going to enter anything, and then we come back, and you know, Sarah was like, I need this, this, and this done. She like gave a list to the guys on Monday. And the show was Friday, and uh, so we did a couple of very small changes and uh, went out. And yeah, she, um, you know, Lemon Drop uh, took first place um, uh, in welterweight in both shows, and uh, in any. And then I think she played in middle, um, and then uh, uh, in this last SS takeover, she she went to heavyweight. Just as I actually signed her up as a joke because I saw Tanya's new bill. Mm -hmm. and black mamba and i was like oh let me sign up sarah but she she got mad at me in the first place then i said by the way that's who you're playing and she literally was mad at me so <laughs> <laughs> she's like how the hell am i supposed to compete with that yeah, yeah. Uh, she did well she got second anywhere else you know so of course she's used to that kind of stuff so, you know. yeah and now she does she uh she plan on staying featherweight or making some changes? You know, you're going to have to ask her uh, later on. She's going to come on the show, and I think that, you know, you'll have to ask her directly because, you know, I honestly don't know. Like, she, she's, uh, yeah. she's well, getting they, the itch, but, you know, they did change the rules yeah. so she couldn't play. <laughs> and you know what? I'll be honest. Like, it, it kind of retired me, man. I'm like, dude, I don't even want to chase that rabbit. Like, it's. You know, I chased Elizabeth for years, and then you guys dropped that shit last year. And I was like, I'm not, I'm not doing it. I'm not, I'm not doing it. I had to put my foot down. I'm like, I'm going to do dumb shit that's just is talked about and is not practical. I'll do that all day. But trying to chase the stupid belt and trophies, like, I'm, I can't. I'm, I, I'm out. <laughs> you know? Yeah, but you, you always played, like, every level just to have yeah. fun, you know? And that's what it's all about. Same here, you know? Like, at SS Takeover, um, in lightweight, uh, we had one of the bikes uh, withdraw, and um, so um, 
I think I can't remember if it was Jimmy or uh, um, Zarel. Uh, they were like, "Hey, pull up T Pain's bike." I, I had T Pain's bike that we just built. I was delivering yeah. it to him in Atlanta. Um, that's that's where we went after. Uh-huh. And uh, they're like, "Pull it up," and I'm like, "Well, it's not a lightweight, you know. It's, it has marine speakers, you yeah. know. So, however, it does have our two XL ported sub boxes with uh-huh. with uh, Memphis 12s in it." And, uh, you know, I played it and my God, like, I'm, you know, you never play it like that, you know? Yeah. Holy yeah. crap. Everybody was like so impressed by it, you know, but, <laughs> you know, but, you know, obviously it wasn't a true light. It was more of an exhibition type thing. And, yep. um, but I tell you what, um, you know, it was fun. And then uh, we played Rob Game Changer, who's, who's one of our uh, uh, most recent builds. Uh, we built him to get him ready for Super Bowl last year. Uh, he's a lightweight. We played him, and he just, man, he spanked. I mean, he's that bike. <laughs> um, that's like Lemon Drop 2.0, but yeah. blue and prettier. <laughs> but, I'll uh, tell you this. I can't say he, that I'm going to get hit, but, you know. He's not yeah. afraid to play it before and after. My God, you know, everybody, <laughs> how do you play for that long at that level and still compete the next day? I mean, yeah. I tell you that's, what, it just it, it's the testament to the build, you know, like. It truly is, because it's just funny to see, you know, Friday, nobody wants to play their music. Like, nobody wants to demo nothing. Nobody wants to do nothing. And, and yeah, when we were all at the get-together at Super Bowl the, the Friday before, man, Rob's out there beating the shit out of him. I'm like, man, like, they, I mean, he's punishing that thing. And this sounded good the whole time, you know. Security's coming out. Like, you can't be playing the music. And just, I mean, it was sounding good. And then, you know, still pull up and, and compete, you know, and win. Like, that's. Yeah, it is. It's a testament to the build because it's not just something you can throw together and punish two days in a row. Because typically in the competition, I'm smelling speakers burn. You know, people oh, yeah. are they're they're stressing the shit out of them. So yeah. it's cool to see it be stressed and then stressed more and it's still playing. No, yeah. yeah. I mean, that's how you know when I when, when we when we built Lemon Drop last year. I mean, it's the same thing. She could play going and going and going. So mm-hmm. it's um, you know, which she works really hard at it. So sometimes there are three, four hours where at the end of the day, we're at the shop and all we do is hear her playing the damn thing. And it's like, <laughs> my yeah. God, you know, but you know, but that's she, what it takes. Yeah. <laughs> you, have to be familiar. you have to be familiar with your slingshot, what it sounds like, what it's going to do, how it performs, what oh, yeah. sounds right. Like, and that is so, that's what's important that people don't put the time in. Like you could right. spend, 50 grand and it doesn't mean shit if you don't know what to play like don't yeah. chase somebody else's music you know play in your oh, yeah. same you know but yeah. no when i when i used to compete i was the worst i had the worst playlist ever always you know <laughs> and somehow i ended up winning some of the times but yeah i'll tell you what if, if i had a playlist i probably would feel much better about my yeah my competing but you know it, it tells you you're a better uh builder than player yeah, I guess so. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> Terrible. Same song on repeat. But, uh, say, if, it, if it wins, I tell everybody, man, play that same shit over and over. No matter what people say about it, play it. Because if it wins, it wins, you know? Just, yeah. It sucks, but play it. <laughs> yeah, I think I think my go-to is like, I'm a thug. I, yeah. And then it was like, every time they, they would hear like, oh, that's Jack. And I, I only had like three or four songs, you know? So yeah. and then one year at SS Takeover, um, I introduced the new Lightweight. It was like gray and orange. I don't know if you guys remember yeah. that thing. But, I remember that one. Um, it went king of the hill and I drew number one. I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> yeah. I literally, so, you know, I ended up winning, which was crazy, but uh, literally like, I was out of songs after four. <laughs> so I was just reaching for anything at that point. I was yep. like, oh my God, this is, it couldn't be a worst case scenario for me. Yeah. yeah. So. I hate that. If people don't, it sounds silly because there's so many songs out there, but, but yeah, if you don't really play like that and you don't understand what we're talking about, you know, like when you yeah. run out of like six songs, you know, you got six that are amazing. And you're like, well, shit, that's two rounds maybe because I might jump wrong. <laughs> so oh, yeah. I'm out, you know. Oh yeah, no, definitely. But that's hilarious. So you have you had a couple of new products coming out too, like your your. Uh, I do, I I do. Before I get into that, I, I do want to announce um, yeah, yeah. that I'm going to be. Uh, we're going to do it. Start a sale. We're going to have a huge sale. What I did, I reached out to uh, some product suppliers like our resin, uh, our fiberglass suppliers, metal, 
um, plastics and things like that that we make the parts out of our our um, fasten you know fastener company and things like that the supply and uh, I worked out a deal I told him I wanted to do a really big promo and just kind of throw it out there and, and I got help from them um, we uh, uh, some of the guys at the at the manufacturing facilities um, are helping out as far as that goes and we're going to do the biggest sale we've ever done and it's actually going to start right now and it's only going to last till tomorrow night so um you know basically uh it's good on all uas products um you know that that we manufacture which is 99.9 percent .9 of the products the only thing it excludes um will be alternators because mechman makes it for us um we have our spin on it obviously but um and we when we developed it with them back in the day, but um, it is a Mechman product, so that has to be excluded because we don't have anywhere close to the margin in that. Um, the uh, Polaris OEM center light will be excluded. Um, any loaded enclosures, so any speaker pods that we sell that come loaded um, or with amplifiers will not be included uh, and will be excluded. Um, no open box. We do have some open box, uh, I think, on the website, so none of those. Um, and, uh, nothing that has a battery that comes with it. So like we make four or five different trays, um, you can buy it with or without batteries. We are, we cannot include the battery in that. So you can buy the tray alone and get the discount, but just not with the battery. But, um, so pretty much, um, you know, the speaker pods, uh, you know, the electronic accessory steering wheel controls, um, wire harnesses, dash kits, uh, battery trays, front fillers, um, sport brackets, um, again, uh, splitters, wings, everything that we've, we make and we've made over the years that's on our website, uh, including some new products um, that I'll come up uh, and I'll, I'll mention at least one of them that will be on there, um, will, uh, will be included in the sale. So um, I'm going to give out the promo code uh, in a little while when, when Sarah joins us, I think she has the, the promo code. Um, but we are going to do 40% off, which is almost oh half my. off our entire store. So, um, say it know, again, 40%, 40%, 40%. Wow. Four zero. Yeah. So Hold on. You, you didn't say if that included stretches, mini stretches, stretches. So it does not include stretches or mini stretches. <laughs> it's only on the website. So. Um, I thought, no, I no, thought it was time. No V2 front that. ends, no concept front ends. Okay. I mean, but you know, our prices on our stretches are so low anyway, mm -hmm. uh, because I we work on volume. You know, we're over 1,200 stretches to date. So, right. I mean, that's a lot. So, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, we, we do a lot of stretches. Uh, we work on volume. Um, so we keep our prices low. You know, like our mini stretches, literally $5,000. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, uh, our four seater starts at 8,500. So, um, mm -hmm. that's pretty hard to, to compete with. I don't, you know, if it's cheaper than that, I'd, I'd watch out, <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> be careful, you're right. you know, but you're right. There's a lot of people out there that are, you know, like, Oh, I can cut a frame and add metal yeah, to it. That's, that's the like, easy part. Yeah. That's the easy part. Like, yeah. That's, that's easy. You, do have yeah. to, you know, think further down the road. Oh, know. there's a million. I mean, you wouldn't believe how many. We're not one of these shops that does the whole talk crap online, show other shops work, show yeah. what they've done. Like we, we, you know, since we've been in business, we've stayed in our lane. Um, and we, you, you do your business, we'll do our business. We're, we're going to earn your business because we're going to be more innovative. We're going to build winners we're going to make your stuff look sexy um and you know customer service as much as we can you know i mean we're not we're a small operation now um everything is made in the u.s everything's made uh literally in our uh, facilities so it's we're not a huge operation we don't get stuff made in china anymore i mean it's literally everything is here so um there's only so much we can do and um again the uh, I forgot where I was even going with that, but basically, <laughs> basically, uh, as far as the stretches go, yeah, I mean, 
there are a lot of things that, you know, will come up as, as you do more and, you know, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, you learn. Yeah, you keep learning and you keep doing more. I mean, yeah, with the with the four seater, the mini stretch. I mean, the front ends, the hoods. I mean, it's oh, yeah. you can be cre you know creative all day. And even the new uh, the the front basically speaker. Uh, yeah, the, we call them the XL fillers or the sound fillers. Is actually what they'll end up being mm -hmm. called for the sound. We're gonna, we're going to separate them because they can actually be used as just a um, like a pretty filler, like a gap filler. You know, so okay, yeah, but. But uh, they can house uh, a lot of people are, are housing just tweeters. Um, some people are putting horns. You can do a six, eight, six inch or an eight inch front front mount, mm -hmm. uh, 10 inch back mounts. And then if you really want to go custom, you could do it. You could theoretically do a 12. Um, you know, we're not going to ship anything that's going to mount larger than 10, but uh, 10 with a horn on it works. Uh, there really is no depth limit. So uh, they work really well. They, they, they look really good. And then one of the things, um, other than revealing that product, which is pretty friggin' new, um, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's only gone to a couple, couple installers and shops uh, and they're playing around with it and product testing it for us and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And um, other than that, um, it, we haven't really marketed it, but it will come out. Um, Lemon. If you look at the new lemon um, out there, she has them on there. And then also one of the things we're adding to it, which is uh, will be released very shortly is um, the Fugati lights that are on the, uh, we're, we're able to integrate those into our fillers. So um, if uh, you know, you don't have to have the, the housing and your own stuff, you can do it all as a one piece filler. Mm -hmm. um, and then we also have our own light coming very shortly that you can do in there too. So Cool. Nice thing is it can change the entire look. Mm -hmm. Um and uh you know it's very clean looking. So yeah. Yeah, it does change the look of the front end, that's for sure. Yeah. No, definitely. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's I mean that's a good thing too. Like, you know, with all the product that I've seen that you guys develop, it's it's very consistent when it comes to I mean, like you said, you know, you build sexy. It's not, you know, there there's a lot everybody has an idea, they can throw stuff on and do stuff, and you could do anything, but yeah, y'all, y'all definitely have maintained a, a, a style, you know, a look, you know, and it's, it's clean. It does look good, you know. Yeah, no, I mean, our, from day one, we tried to. I mean, ever since we've been in the audio, you know, uh, and styling game, um, we've always tried to have that stealth look. So, mm -hmm. you know, we we've been, uh, you know, we've been um, using Bema speakers uh, since two thousand and nine, I think. When, Ho when uh, Jose came and, and introduced it to the US, or I forget what year it was, but somewhere around there. And we built a, we built a ton of cars for athletes, celebrities that you couldn't see the speakers, but you could sure as hell hear them. Yeah. And um, we built a boat that was featured uh, at a couple shows, Spring Break Nationals is one of them. And it was a center console. And let me tell you something, it was all Bama in there. And then um, I think it was, I think it was Phoenix Gold subs at the time. It had like six 12 inch subs in there in a, in a band pass. And uh, that boat, you could be two miles away <laughs> from the beach. And, you know, we live on Siesta Key Beach. So I don't know if you're familiar. Like it's one of the top beaches, mm -hmm. a very quiet beach. <laughs> and yeah. we would literally roll two miles away and you could hear it clear as day. I mean, it nice. was crazy. So we gained a lot of business from that. But it's all about, but you couldn't see a speaker, not a mm -hmm. single. There were, actually, you could you could see four marine coax six and a half. You could see those, but you didn't see where it was coming from, any any of the sound coming from. So nice. But we like that look. We like it clean. I mean, everybody has their own flavor, their own taste. Mm -hmm. You know, um, when it comes to mounting speakers on on vehicles and mm -hmm. especially slingshots, and uh, mm -hmm. you know, we have ours, and everybody else has has theirs, and we go from there. Yeah, exactly. got a couple comments on here, Jack. Uh, <laughs> TJ said, and he was the first. Yes, for the fillers. Yes, he received the very first set. So um, he received basically the prototype set. So um, and that bike I heard is uh, it's coming out really strong. So you know, I love sounds... seeing. I see a few pods of ours on his bike, and I I um, I think Twelve Volt's building it right or built it. Yeah, we have it. At, we have it at the shop. Yep. Yeah. So I'm super excited to hear that bike. Um, it's really clean sounding. It's yeah, and he's such a he's such a good dude. 
you know, like he's a good person. That's what I, I like to build stuff for people that are really good people, you know, like Rob Game Changer, just a great human, you know, like humble guy. I mean, he's, he's a little cocky now, but he, I, you know, he does it for fun, but um, mm -hmm. just a good person overall. And, uh, you know, I love seeing TJ, you know, like I said, with his, uh, his outlook on everything, he's always got his opinion in things, but he's mm -hmm. almost like a, when all the drama and fuss is going on, he's the guy that brings everybody together, you know, so, yeah. or tries to anyway. So, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. yeah so, some of us like to stir the pot. He likes to clean it up. So. Yeah. Right. Oh, you also got another one. Robert Thielen said, does that include four pan, uh, four pans on yes. your, uh, four oh, deep dish? Discount code? yes, it does. So the deep dish is something that a lot of people don't know about. We call them our deep dish floors. Basically what we did is we took our old fiberglass floors that, um, we used to use to have subwoofers mounted under the seats. And we actually went deeper. Not only did we do it in the back, we did it in the front. And again, many of the show bikes uh, have them in there. Tons of shops buy them. Um, we're terrible at marketing. By the way, if somebody would like to uh, come work for us and market our stuff, um, you know, we have about 4,000 SKUs. And uh, we would like people to actually know about them and not just like one or two things that we do. That'd be great. So, but the deep dish floors, um, again, we have them on, on several bikes. You can literally put an 8K um, in the front underneath uh, either a honeycomb mesh or a plexi panel or a rug or something. Um, in the back, you can stack amps. Like you can stack processes and amps. Uh, we have a bike that has um, 8, 16, 24, 42,000 watts nice. on wow. a two-seater, two-seater on the deep dish floors and it fits perfectly nice so yeah, yeah oh i just i just got so one of my buddies that uh he, on instagram he's denali 34s we built a durango that was all bama back in the day and he had it on 34 or no he had that on 32s or 30s wheels but uh he bought, built a truck that was 34s that had all mats gear but the durango um we built that had all Bama in there too. And it, that thing was crazy. We used to go to the show called the classic in, uh, in Orlando in Florida. It was a huge car show. Mm -hmm. And, um, we won back to back to back best of show three years in a row at that show. And it's, this is a show where, uh, have you heard of the Rick Ross, um, the show yes. that he puts on now? Yeah. Okay. So, so it's kind of, it was kind of like that, like, a very elite, very tons of people came, brought the best of the best. No money was no object to anybody there mm -hmm. uh, type of builds. And, uh, you know, here we come in just these, you know, these, these three guys, like my son, my son was with us at the time. And we literally just show up and took best, you know, best to show three years, three years in a row. I mean, that's unheard of. So, you know, <laughs> nice. That was, so that was your free, free slingshot days when, when we used to have fun and make money. <laughs> your friend's name? Your friend is Denali underscore 34S? I, I believe so, yeah. Well, then he's the guy that we need to blame because he said, tell him uh, I gave him his songs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He, he gave us a couple, you know. The problem is everything he used to play was slowed down. So unless, you're, unless your vehicle can play 15, 20 hertz and, and be heard, you're yeah. not playing it. So, you know. Yeah. None of them are playing 15, 20 hertz. Yeah. No. That's, that's it's so funny, but. You know, when you're in a vehicle, when a truck or, or, a, or a SUV, it's different. You can, you know, hair pull, like literally pull, like full hair tricks and stuff. So, yeah, but mm -hmm. no, that's uh, good times. You know, that's where we came from. We came from a styling background and audio. Um, mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, the company started as, as a hobby, my son and I. And uh, he was he turned 15 and wanted a cool car. And we did that and got kicked out. of We lived on the water in, in Sarasota and the association like freaked out because we had we were working on cars so we ended up buying a little building just to uh, uh actually we rented it we rented a building and that's how it started that's how underground started so, mm -hmm. nice yeah really i remember you, i remember you telling me that story probably like 2018 or something 19 one of those days one of those years when yeah. i was down there for the one of the first shows i went to in florida but oh yeah you came to our i remember you and ted coming to the shop yeah, I remember yeah, the, yeah. the big shop. Yeah, we had yeah. twenty seven thousand square foot like state yeah. of the art facility, and, and yeah, 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 no, those days are over. I'm, I'm like ready to not. I just want to ski. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I want to ski and, and come up yeah. with cool stuff. <laughs> that's it. That's it. Call the office. Be like, okay, do this. 
I'll right. see you in a week. You know, yeah. I remember y'all were putting a sound system in a bus and lights, like a school bus or something. Yeah, so many different things. I mean, the stuff that we we've built stuff for Coke, um, Coca Cola, uh, McDonald's, uh, ABC, Clear Channel, um, mm-hmm. so many vehicles for country. Like, say, so we built a vehicle um, for uh, the Homestead race. Because our sound projected so much, they took a bread truck and put TVs on it. And during, it was louder than the than the entire um, PA system in the thing. And they yeah. they just announced it was the coolest. I forget exactly what they're using it for, but I tell you, we've built some really cool stuff. You know, I mean, I love slingshots, and I got into it, and I'm still mm-hmm. in it um, because of my heart. Uh, mm-hmm. I absolutely love. Um, the way I feel when I drive one and just enjoy it and the, and the people and the, and the family, you know? So it's, um, it's a cool thing that we do for sure. Yeah. I remember a couple of years ago, you came by and you're my Uber driver. And you picked me up in a seat, uh, six, the six seater when you debuted that. And I was like, this is my Uber ride. I was like, damn. <laughs> that was the very first time that that thing hit the street. Yep. I think I it was, it was me, Smitty, uh, right. Brock was there. <clears throat> I was yep. in the back. Mike, yeah. yeah it, so back back. it was literally like five guys that all weighed two to three hundred pounds yeah. at least. Yep. Ted's in the back. That was funny too. I was like, we gotta go get Ted. Dude, I was like in the very, very back, and I'm like, this is crazy. What the, I mean, what is this contraption he's built? You're like on right. a, a bus, you have to ring the bell to, to, for the next stop. Yeah, never yeah. test driven ever. And it yeah. literally we drove it to the freaking show, wherever the hell it was. Well, yeah. This is another testament to your bill because that it wasn't bobbing like bending or anything nah, in the back. Yeah. I mean, that thing was it was smooth. Yeah. 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 No, I mean, you know what's funny is I, I built it as a joke. I never thought I'd ever build a second one. Do you know there there I lost count, but I the last time I remember, which is sometime early last year, there were over 30 six seaters out there. Nice. <laughs> like, and I never thought I was gonna build one, never mind two, like but yeah. You know, and I'm I'm sure it's more because I think we just did one recently. But um, I mean, holy crap! Yeah. You know, I I personally think it's too long, but you know, like, yeah. I like our four seater. Our our standard four seater, I really love. Mm-hmm. It's just clean. It's the right size. It looks normal to me. It rides amazing. Um, yeah. Of course, we have an XL version that uh, it's basically a four seater with a mini. Um, like the one, um, the candy red one that uh, was at Super Bowl last year. Yeah. Yep. So, you know, mm-hmm. stuff like that. But, you know, the nice thing is when you, when, you know, you can add a lot of different audio equipment and you still and still buzz your family around. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. But they look factory. They look like that's the way Polaris makes them. That's the yeah. best thing about it. Mm-hmm. No, I, I remember, in, I think Dana um, in 2017 or something or 18, um, she had an event at the um, Alabama in the factory in Alabama. Mm-hmm. Um I think it was Alabama. Um, and um, uh, Polaris came out and, and looked at it and like inspected it. And they, next thing you know, I'm literally driving around every factory worker for Polaris <laughs> in the four seater. Nice. And they are loving it, like loving it, you know. So that's funny. Yeah. And, you know, and I remember uh, <clears throat> you had the white slingshot with all the crazy audio on it. And I remember whenever that first came out, people were like, that's ugly as shit, blah, 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 blah. And now look at them. Like, I, I mean, and, I, yeah. and, and me too. I was just like, that is, that's kind of gaudy. Like, it's kind of, it's, yeah, it's kind of much. It, it was my, it was, I was thinking, and it was loud. It was like, that's ridiculous. And then now everyone's doing that shit. Like, and they're going to get, there's not, doesn't look nothing like what yours look like. Well, right you know now. what's funny? When we first developed the Tombstone pod, right? Mm-hmm. It was like, Oh, this thing's huge, you know. Like, yeah. I don't know if I like the look and all this stuff. Yep. Holy crap. If there's not a slingshot that doesn't like yep. almost have these things now, it is so funny to see the, the evolution. Yeah, like the headache rack. The the um it was the white one, um white yeah. and black one. Yeah, and had the speakers around it. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I love okay. see people I've heard actually I never really heard too much negative about that. Everybody was always like so impressed by it, but we tried to keep it clean. Like we debuted it without mesh, but then we added mesh. Mm-hmm. Um, but you know, that was a long time ago, but um, yeah. it is funny how minuscule that looks now compared yeah. to these builds. Yeah. yeah. Like, you know, but well, 
But and look at the pods no that still survive. And there's no comparison to to what you know the the look of the of yours that was clean. It was clean. I mean, it was clean. And today it's like if you've got a saw, they're putting shit on your slingshot. <laughs> they just chop it up, put it yeah. on there, and bed line it and call it custom. I'm like, ah, sure, you know. But it's and it's it is it's particular taste. If you like it, I love it. That's fine. Yeah. But, no, I mean exactly. It's again, everybody has taste. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, we built some some donks back in the day where we you know put a bunch of wood rings and fleece and mm-hmm. and uh, you know had the stuff all over. I mean, we did a ton of that. You know, yep. and there's definitely uh, you know it's just my own personal taste. You know, I like it to look stealthy and clean. But mm-hmm. you know, again, we build everything. I mean, whatever you want. I mean, we'll build you anything. We don't have to have we do we do build one off stuff. We don't mm-hmm. like to, but we we will do it. Yeah. So, exactly. And, and some of the new big builds that are coming out, you know, it's just like you said, it's just different tastes, whether it's you like it or not, but you have to appreciate the thought and uh, and the planning and everything that went into it and the, the final build. I mean, some of the things sound amazing, some will look amazing, and it, it's mm-hmm. not for everybody, but you know, it's their creation. They paid for it and some yep. of them are just I mean, look look how bad uh, a lot of people said they didn't like how radios came out in the, in the beginning. Right. And now it's it's very tame compared to everything that's out there now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. The best the best looking pods on radio came from us. <laughs> I'm, just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. He's such a good dude. And he does this thing in New York. Holy crap. You know? Yeah. Like, yeah. my God. That's what's cool. He does. Uh, he's got his own little thing. Like, he yeah, does, absolutely. He, he stays he in, does stays does. his own lane and just, you know. That is cool. Mm-hmm. Does this thing, you know? I mean, it's like, you know, I mean, he has what more TVs than you, Jonathan, but not as big. Is that is that how? I think. I think that's what he <laughs> but he put like a projector up and shit. Like he went out of control. Like out of, I'm not doing that. Like he he literally just bolted some shit on there and said, "We're good." I'm like, <laughs> yeah. At least you molded yours in. <laughs> I tried to I tried to make it kind of part of it, although it's obviously not. You know. But yeah. well, it looks like we got what we got Rob on here with us today. What's up, fellas? How you doing, man? What's going on? Hi, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, we can hear you. Okay, I'm just uh, headed out of Jacksonville. Okay, I see you got your Bucky shirt on. <laughs> yeah, I did a little, did my little pit stop today. Yeah, yeah, you got you got to stop it. I never, I, like, I never been to Bucky's. Oh shit! Anytime I travel, it, it's like, especially in Texas, like I'm going to Houston. There's a Bucky's in Madisonville. Got to stop there. You know, that's like that's where you stop. You know, you don't go anywhere else but Bucky's. Well, I said we never have any. We don't have any of these up north. So uh, I said okay. I'm I'm near one. I'm going to it. You probably spent about a hundred dollars there. Yeah, a uh, hundred fifty. You went for gas and a drink and use the restroom. <laughs> you come out with some weird shit, like a corn nugget and beaver nuggets. And, you know, man, so Rob, I, what, uh, what, what part of uh, up north are you from? I know you uh, You told me one time. Pittsburgh. Before, where are you from? Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh, okay. Pennsylvania. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And your your slingshot's come a long way, right? Like it's a. It, it, it sure has. It sure has. You were chasing the. You know, chasing the eluding belt and the victory lanes for years, and all of a sudden you're like, you know what? Let's get this second mortgage out and take it to Jack. Yeah. <laughs> you you gotta you you know you you want to you want to play with the best. You gotta go to the best. You know. That's right. That's right. But now you're sounding good. We were talking about you earlier, where you were just uh, when I saw it Friday um, Friday night at the Super Bowl. You know, you're out in the parking lot just punishing it. You know, and punishing it. I'm like, man, he's playing the shit out of that. And, and secretly, I was hoping you would blow something so I'd have a chance. But uh, and then uh, and then I was, but then you know, then you played it again, you know, the next day, and it still sounded good, you know. And you're still punishing it, and, punish, and then after the show, you still put. I'm like, dude, he's playing the shit out of this bike, you know. So it's that's good to see. Like you know, you spend a few dollars on it, and it's you use it, man. It ain't like you just baby I- it and only turn it up for thirty seconds and turn it back down, like. You know, you play your shit, and I like that. I, you know, I built that bike to have fun. That's why mm-hmm. I built that bike. Yeah, that's why Jack yeah. built that bike. I wanted to have fun, and yeah, if yeah. I can't, if I can't park a lot pimp, and I can only go into the battles and use it. Mm-hmm. Battles are fun. Don't get me wrong, but parking lot pimp is just as much fun. You know. Yeah. 
Yep. I'm exactly. all about just having fun, enjoying it. You know, enjoying everybody in the slingshot community and hanging out. Yeah. Yeah, definitely, man. That's what it's about. It's not a, you know, winning's fun and don't get me wrong, it's fun. But I, I always had a better time competing in the higher classes when I, when I had no thought of winning. You yeah. know, you're I absolutely, you're I'm absolutely gonna, right. I would yeah. try to blow my shit, and they'd be like, "Dude, you should have played that in featherweight." I'm like, <laughs> "I thought it you're was notorious horrible, for but, that." You know, yeah. yeah. I've been told that so many times. It's like, no, I thought it was garbage, but it sounded good. It was loud as shit, you know. It was street, you know. But that's, yeah, that's some people, thought. some people were telling me I, the songs I was playing Friday night, I should have played during the competition on Saturday. <laughs> exactly. You know, I don't know. Yeah, that's I guess it's all subjective. It's all subjective to the judges. So it's whatever they, whatever they think sounds good, whatever they like. It's all subjective to them. Yeah, exactly. You know your shit's badass, then that's all that matters. Like whether you that's win it. or lose, you know it's badass, and everybody's got yep. a badass slingshot. So, you know, have fun. Yeah, that's it. That's it. As long as you're having fun, I ain't losing. Yeah, that's it. That's really it. What, uh, hey, Rob, how do you, how do you pick your uh, what um, event you're going to? How do you get ready for an event? What do you do? Uh you know. I, I've I've been wanting to go to Houston sling sling experience for a couple years now because I see all the videos and and all all the all the excitement that happens over the four days and uh, so I had that one on my schedule originally I, I was making sure I was going to sling experience and then uh, they came out with SS Takeover in Jacksonville before the dates were released for sling experience. And I knew I was going to Jarrell's show. I wasn't going to miss that show. That's my boy. I was going to that show. And uh, and then I found out Sling Experience was the following weekend. And I was like, ah, oh, man, this is this is tough. You know, I, I can't do both. And then I'm like, wait, can I? I was like, I'll just take the whole week off. <laughs> I'll push all my work back. And uh, I'm just going to, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. But, yeah. uh, you know, traveling's yeah. tough. Everybody knows that. It's, it's tough. Uh, we all got lives outside of this and um you know i'm very happy happy and fortunate that i'm able to do this you know i really am that yeah, sling, sling experiences is an awesome show uh, i went to the inaugural the very first one and had an absolute blast and then you know i've been back to to a couple of them um include, i think the one in 2020 right when covid was announced i think in the middle of sling fest there's sling experience then they say <laughs> But it was, didn't something happen strange like that? Yeah, it was like during, it was during the event. They're like, hey, we're all like blah, blah, you know. Yeah, we need to right shut down and like and wear masks. Like, what? Yeah, we're like, <laughs> I'm from I'm Florida. Like, I don't even know what a mask is. We didn't wear masks the entire time. <laughs> yeah, we're all competing. <laughs> we're on the beach. We, we had, oh, you're going to close the bars out? No problem. Let's just put drinks outside and you're not inside. <laughs> exactly, yeah. That was funny. But no, Sling Experience, I mean, what a great, and then, like I said, the, the whole charity thing, um, you know, the Dana uh, and, and everybody, and they do, um, I ended up spending, I think, $500 on a couple couple bottles of liquor as a, as a donation, but no, yeah. it's, a, it's a great cause, and, and, and I got to drink a little bit, so, you know. Yep. <laughs> no, it's cool. I tell everybody, man, if you haven't been to Sling Experience, you, you have not been to an event. Just yeah. Like Period. I've know? heard that 20 times. I've heard yep. that 20 times. And when you get there, you'll be like, yeah, they're right. Because it's, <laughs> that's like, yeah. I'm done. Like, my Sunday, you're like, I'm tired, man. I want to go home. You know, it's like, I've seen enough <laughs> slingshots. I'm good. Yeah, and Texas is such a huge market, and they have such a, uh, I mean, so many different shops and places that do slingshots now. And, and it's like, so you get to see – all kinds of crazy builds, you know. So, yep. <laughs> exactly. Like, now that'd be good, Rob. I'll be, I'll be glad to see you, man. Because I tell, I was telling Ted, you know, like, dude, his shit's, it's amazing, bro. Like, you know, and, and he's like, oh, I haven't seen, I didn't hear it, you know, I wasn't there. Was, I forgot Ted didn't make it to Florida. Wait, Ted, you haven't heard it yet? No, I had to work last year and I couldn't get off, uh, so I didn't yeah. get to hear it in Florida. So, why? It's gonna be yeah. my first time hearing it. Yeah, he's coming out. Uh, what is it? Didn't they change the thing to like another night or something? Yeah, it's Friday. So the first Rob, three play on Friday. So right? Yeah, featherweight, lightweight, what? welterweight all play on Friday. And welterweight too? Yeah, all the first three play 
I th- Wait a minute. No, is it's it, the uh, rookie class, right? It might be uh, the rookie class, uh, featherweight and lightweight, then on Friday, then everybody else on Saturday. Yeah. Yeah, yeah the flyweight, featherweight, and lightweight. Yeah. So I, I can let I can let a little I can let it a little loose on Friday night. Yes. No, you play Friday night. <laughs> <laughs> when when he was at SS Takeover, he shows up a day or two before. All I'm watching is all these lives with Rob literally playing hours and hours and hours. I'm like, he's gonna li- he's gonna blow his shit before the show, you know? And it's like, you know, everybody's encouraging him to play louder, play it louder. Oh yeah, oh, oh, yeah. It turn it up, turn it up. Yeah, yeah. So I can't even imagine how Texas is gonna go. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, and, you know, you've seen, uh, you know, Black Mamba pulled hers out at, you know, SS Takeover. So, you know, I can only imagine, like, that's her, but she was, like, retired. Obviously not. Yeah. And uh, so I can imagine other people that have, you know, really tried to be serious and they're going to unveil their, you know, their crazy build, you know, next week. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. Yeah, exactly. I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited to see what, what new is going to come out at at the uh, um, at uh, Sling Experience. I'm sure we're going to see some new one. I can't wait to see TJ's build. That yeah, one, I'm yeah. looking forward to that one. And uh, that Black Mamba bike, man, that thing is wicked. That thing yeah. is wicked. Nice. Yeah, yeah old team. They, they, they Sound Evolution did a really good job on that bike. So yeah, they did a great job on the last one too. Yeah, it's, it yeah. just it's yeah. not it's not great. It, it it even it even looks intimidating. You know. When you oh, when yeah. you look at it, wait do you see it in person? It just looks intimidating. <laughs> You're like, I don't you, want to battle heard, that shit. You heard the story, right? On that, uh, so Sarah never wants to to play up into that into like heavy or anything like that. Like she she'll she'll go up like one or two unless like she's really feeling it, you know. But she's she doesn't want to play that many levels anymore, mm-hmm. um, you know, with one bike. But so I went up there and I'm like, let's just sign up for heavy. And she got mad at me, like I said. And then I showed her. I said, well, that's who you're going to play after I already signed her up. (laughs) Like, that bike just – I mean, it's literally the entire side and everything. Just (laughs) told with speakers everywhere (laughs) and horns. (laughs) I can't believe we were able to play side by side. I didn't know if there was enough room. Right? That thing is wide, yeah. And she – it's a lounge chair on each side. She literally laid across it. Did you see that photo? That's what – that was was my comment. I commented on her. I said she got lounge chairs on the side of that thing. Literally. (laughs) I mean, it is – like, but, you know, for a big build like that, they did a really good job to make it still look, you know. Mm -hmm. um, It's as clean as you can for doing what they did. Yeah. I'd say that. Yeah. And I know Jess Jess and – Jake down there. I mean, they can tune. Like they, they definitely know their yeah. sound. You know, they're very, they're very technical. You know, they they get into the, to the textbook on that stuff. You know, yeah. so they know, they definitely know their stuff. You know, yeah, absolutely. And just, you know, and the more, you know, yeah. I mean, they, like I said, I mean, the more she plays it, and the more she's out there, and the more she competes against different people, because you know, you always think you're the greatest until you play against somebody else that's just better than you. You know, it's yeah. like, you know, it's like, oh man. <laughs> A yeah, baby or, or a better playlist, and then it's, it's absolutely game on. yeah. No, her playlist is pretty good. Like she she has the really pretty songs with a lot of bass, you know, and uh, mm-hmm. so her playlist is pretty good. I mean, of course, she's been competing forever, you know. So, mm-hmm. but it's yeah. uh, it'll be a good event. I'm excited to see you know who all yeah. shows up and what all craziness they bring. So one I'm thing excited. I do want to do, Sarah's going to come up and bring the code. The uh, the discount code for the uh, the sale. Okay. Tell them how much again. Uh, forty percent. Forty percent. What? Forty. Yeah. You missed out. Nope. nope. Sorry. No. Nope. Nope. Done. Nope. Yeah. It's only so oh, it's only okay. new purchases. Doesn't retro back, and it won't be good after that. I worked out a deal with a lot of people, and to make it work. <laughs> uh, yeah. What is it? Lemons. <laughs> Lemon, Lemon forty. 40. Lemon 40. 40. Oh. oh 40. So again, I, I, I had some disclosures <laughs> on one. Yeah, you better screenshot food. that shit. Yeah. <laughs> so lemon 40, it's active right now and it expires tomorrow night. So Ooh. um I don't know. Putting the heat on them. So does not go retro back. You it's no no in the future. No, I can't. 
give you that code later. That's it. I, I made some deals and uh, to make it happen. And that's what, that's what we're going to do. So, you know, it's basically, um, uh, you know, just a promotion to help everybody the beginning of the year, stock up on what you need and go from there. So um, also before uh, we introduce this one here, um, I did want to talk about a new, a couple of new products. Uh, we talked about the sound fillers, um, the XL uh, gap fillers um, that house a six, eight or 10 inch speaker. Um, I have a new ported box uh, being released very soon. Nice. Stock tubs. So I don't have to hear this stock tubs thing anymore. Like, yeah. because exactly. not only, not only did we develop a box in 2015 that's ported that works in the stock tub that's to this day still is a killer. Yep, um, yep. You know, uh, you've got your box JT. That's, that's mm -hmm. just a, a fantastic, uh, you know, box for the budget. Mm -hmm. Um, but we have a new ported box nice. that will be released very soon. Um, and uh, it will work under the three wheel showdown um, featherweight and lightweight rules. Cool. So that'd be uh, good. Specifically developed to allow people to have uh, a good, deep, all around base. With without putting a BBL or a like our XL box, mm -hmm. so yeah. um, you know um, we have that one. And then of course, if you're entering welterweight in three wheel, or you want just a little bit more room, um, our XL box um, sounds amazing. And actually, Rob, you might have heard it for the first. T Pain uh, T Pain Slingshot had two mm -hmm. 12s and two XL boxes, and People are floored. I, I was actually impressed with the with the uh, the feedback we got during the show. Yeah, they're very they're very impressive. Very impressive. Mm -hmm. So, um, and then one more thing, which is not sound related, um, but uh, it's another product that we will have released uh, or will be released um, this summer. We have a new roof coming out. Nice. So, nice. and the roof will work on um, standard slingshots, mini stretches, four seaters, six seaters, um, and four seater XLs. So, nice. just like we have a stretch for the uh, sling shade already for the mini stretch and the four seater. So we actually have a sling shade extension um, for the mini stretch already. Mm -hmm. uh, production piece. Um, this will this will be a new roof that is um, coming to the market that will have some UAS innovation in it. So, you know, um, look out for that one. So, if you're planning on getting a roof, maybe hold off for just a tiny bit longer. Yeah, until yeah. We release it. Nice. What do you and think? So we could find this on your website, right? Uh, what's on our website? The 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 fillers. The, the fillers, fillers are on the, the website. Uh, no. It's um, if you go to undergroundautostyling.com, um, there's a link to it. It's Universal Audio Solutions. Um, I think it goes to our. That's the name of our store and our product uh, company. Mm -hmm. um, so the I think they're under uh, XL fillers, but we're going to change the name also to Sound Fillers and list them under Audio. Um, and then the ported box is not on our website yet, um, but that will be uh, available. Uh, by the end of the month, in it's in full production now, but it'll be released to the public at the end of the month. Nice. So, um, so the fillers are available on the forty percent off sale, um, and um, you can get those now. So, okay. you know, as long along with all our other products, so you know, headrest, dual headrest pods, six, eight, ten inch, um, twelve inch, even. So we pretty much have a a speaker pod that can house anything from a single six up to pretty much a 12. Um, oh, our XL fender pods. Again, I'm terrible at marketing. Um, our XL fender pods, two point, I want to say 2.3 net on the ported, 
um, on the uh, sealed. Mm -hmm. You can put two 12s with a horn and a tweeter. You could do a single 15 in it. Nice. You could do three tens uh, or any combination that you pretty much desire. And we also have a full mesh panel that covers it if you like. So, right. um, what's the depth on them? I want to say six inch minimum. So, if you're putting subs in it, I think you can do six inch or six and a half inch subs, dual tens or dual twelves. Um, you can go if you do a single speaker or dual uh, P, uh, pro audio. I think you can go even deeper. Single speaker, I think you have like thirteen inches or eleven inches. But I'll verify all that once um, once we go from there. But uh, again, our XL Fender pods, um, they're, uh, um, they're also part of the sale. So okay. if you want to order those, um, those are only available, I think, in raw or black texture finish. We don't paint those and ship them just because of the size. Mm -hmm. So, Yeah, that's a good deal for 40% off. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's going to hurt us on some, on some levels. And, uh, you know, like Hector, my manager, he's freaking out, but... Um, like I said, I mean, we, um, um, it's only one day. It starts now and it's over tomorrow night and we didn't have a Black Friday sale or anything like that pretty much. I mean, it wasn't anything significant. So this is kind of our, here you go. Nice. And, and our only marketing is on this. So <laughs> outstanding. Hopefully too many people don't here. take advantage of it. <laughs> That'd be cool. Lemon, lemon 40 is the code at checkout. Yep, lemon 40. Well, speaking of lemons, we got lemon, and no, she's not 40. <laughs> yeah. Hi, guys. Lemon drop Sarah herself. <laughs> Rob, so I love your Bucky shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. For the first time today. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Bucky's is great. Spike's not wearing blue. <laughs> <laughs> so, Sarah, well, Sarah tell us a little bit about you. So tell us a little bit about yourself, Sarah. I know, uh, like, first time I think we met was last year at Sling Experience. And mm -hmm. then you had Lemon Drop 1, which was uh, this, basically the, the standard parts on, you know, the on the slingshot. You know, and it, it sounded good, but, you know, everybody else was just, like, ridiculous. And so mm -hmm. so you guys definitely went back to the lab. And, uh, you know, you, probably a long ride home while you were helping <laughs> Jack. Because oh, yeah. The next no. time I saw you, is like, that's not the same slingshot. It's like, holy something shit. is different here. Yeah. No. Now, that was her very first show. She ended up winning uh, Featherweight. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. she, it all started there. And it all started there, but it was, like, very close. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. like, it was almost too close for comfort. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, I, think, I think the very first bike she played was uh, Cruella, and then... Yeah. And then, and then uh, after that, it was somebody else, and, and he sounded really good. He was very loud and clear, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, with good bass. And it was like super close. Like, you know, you, you could have went either way. And I, you know, I think I was judge. I judged uh, that one actually, the featherweight, and it was uh, yeah, yeah, it was because yeah, it was um, yeah, it just turned into like it wasn't the loudest, but it was cleaner and clearer. And like yeah. you know, I was trying to be you know that judge that was like. You can well, be that, loud. Anybody can turn their shit up loud. Yeah. But it was it did sound sound better, you know, like it could have been lacking on certain things, but overall sounded better. And I think that's what people forget. So one thing with lemon drop. Yeah, that yeah, it was built in nine days. <laughs> yeah. We had, we started that, but she goes, I want a bike and I want to be able to you no, know compete. Listen, listen, it started. We were at Sling Fest, that my very first one of my very first shows that I was paying attention to what was happening at the show, my first sound competition experience. I think it was that wow. Sleep Fest in Tampa. Yeah, Tampa yeah. And I heard these bikes play and I was like, this is awesome. And I, mm -hmm. I knew nothing. I didn't know the rule. I didn't know the classes. I didn't even get what was happening with the judging or anything. I had no idea. But I was like, I was like they just get in and they play. And I was like, that's gotta be nerve wracking. And it was exciting yeah. to hear and see. And I was like, I yeah. was asking him, I didn't even know at this point, like his past with it all. And I was like, have you done this before? Like, have you built bikes and been in this? And he's like, yeah, like a long time ago. I've kind of gotten out of it. And I was like, why? I was like, this seems awesome. I was like, let's build one. I was like, let's do this. Like, let's do it. And he was like, he's like, I was like, what's the next show? And I think it was the experience. And he was like, there's no way. There's no way <laughs> we're going to pull something together in nine days, a week, or whatever nine it was. Days, yeah, 
<laughs> and it literally, and then Before just like, yeah, leave, how yeah. it came together. Like my favorite color is yellow. We had was yellow seats. Mm -hmm. And then it literally just like piece by piece, like let me like, let, it just all came together in such a perfect way. Yep. And, and then I think it was the drive from Florida to Sling Experience was me figuring out my playlist. I hadn't even tested it on it till we got to Texas and I'm there with my laptop and this trying to we're listening to songs in the RV. And I'm like, is this yeah. going to sound good on my bike? And it was, so it was a lot of last minute <laughs> things, but from mm -hmm. that point forward, it was just, you know, I fell in love with the community mm -hmm. and everything. So. Mm -hmm. No, it's pretty fun. And, it, and no matter how many times you do it, every time, you know, they say, okay, you're up. It's like, damn, now I'm nervous. Like, I was good until you said it was my turn. Yes. Uh, right. Every time. I'm nervous every single, yep. no matter the class, no matter the level, no matter who I'm facing. I am, people yep. know, people see me before I get on. I am a ball of anxiety <laughs> every yeah. single time. I'm working for the, I'm working on the coupon code right now to see why it's not. He's fixing the coupon code. But yeah, every single show, no matter what. Mm -hmm. And you know, and it's, I always say like London, our daughter, we're always, she knows, she knows that it's not until I am done playing that I can take a sip of water or I can eat something yeah. or I can finally be like, okay, we can enjoy yeah. this now. It's, it's a lot. Yeah. And I think people who don't compete don't realize like, it's a lot. Like it's yeah. Yeah. stressful oh, yeah. and nerve wracking, especially those days when the sun is beating down on you and like, yeah. I like the other day I was like, why am I so tired? And I was like, I literally just stood yeah. Yeah, <laughs> for yeah. five hours. But he was like, it's more than just standing. I'm like, it's, I literally felt like I just ran a marathon after this yeah. last show in Jacksonville. Mm -hmm. And it's a lot. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. It's the sun and the nerves and everything else. And, and you're right. You know, whenever, uh, no matter how many times you play, like, you know, I've probably, I've played a hundred times and it's still every time it's like, ah, I'm nervous as shit. So mm -hmm. I walk around and, you know, just, just walk around my slingshot to try not to be shaking, you know, and just so you don't appear nervous. You're calm, but no, I'm I'm dying because everybody's yeah. staring at me. <laughs> I never, yeah. People who see me before a show know that I never go into anything cocky or confident. Even yeah. I like I am the exact opposite of that. I know yeah, anything can happen. Anything is possible. And then I have him in my ear every single time telling me. That I'm not going to win. He's the worst wingman in the entire <laughs> world. Every single show we're at, he's like, "There's no way. There's no way that bike sounded better than you. There's no way." Well, you become, have it. You become he's the, the worst uh, at sling fest because they don't tell you to the end, and I have yeah, to hear for yeah. hours how oh my I God. did not win. <laughs> the scorecards, like, yeah, like, oh, it's really oh, 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 yeah. Hang on, let me stop y'all real quick. Uh, hang on, uh, we got a lot of people out there saying that the um, yeah, cold isn't working right now. He knows that he's gonna he's getting taken care We're of. Working on it. it was supposed to launch at midnight asking. tonight, but they told me that it would work now. So I'm I'm talking to the guys right now to try to figure out if they can launch it. Early. Just a little bunch of comments in there. Uh, there's uh by the way, there's uh Doinks said, can you tell us more about the new sub box on the way, real quick? So it will be a ported box. It'll fit in the stock tub. Um, we've we developed it to work with mostly like a large ten. Um, very, very deep mounting depth. Um, you, it will fit a 12, but we have not played with it with a 12 yet. So it's really designed uh, for somebody that does not want a BBL or XL um, box, but wants the ported. That's all I can divulge at this time, but uh, I'm sure at some point you guys will hear it. Nice. That'd be good. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that, sir. I didn't mean to bust in on Maybe. you. Maybe. <laughs> trying to think. I forgot what I was going to ask, and then I, I don't know. You're so excited. Uh, about uh, I don't know. So. I think, there he goes. <laughs> yeah, we lost Rob. There he is. There yeah, you got um, no, so these, so these two on the show right here, uh, they did really well. Um, uh, at takeover, uh, Rob uh, won lightweight, Sarah won welterweight, and Rob also got uh, um, yeah. best That's of show, good. which you know, I mean, That's uh, a huge uh, honor. Obviously, that but that bike was already really sexy before, and uh, we just added our flavor to it, so mm -hmm. you know, made it made it maybe a little bit sexier, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just a little bit. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah, that's how everybody. It's never ending, and as soon as you think you're done, you're like, "Oh man, look what they just came out with!" And you're like, "Come on, man, yeah. I'm done." 
Oh uh, yeah. No, I mean, I've been done like, quite a few times. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, Sarah, tell us how you get ready for a uh, competition. What's the routine? You know, is it the songs? Is it, is it how to get Jack in a, a lemon drop outfit? What, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> well, we always plan the outfits before. And by we, I mean, I am usually just laying out anything yellow I can find in the house for him. Um, I just do what I'm told. <laughs> but, you know, we're usually there driving from the, in the RV, so it's, you know, a lot of RV with the dogs and mm -hmm. me stressing out about my playlist until the last minute. I've got all, you know, my core songs that I like to play, but, you know, it's figuring out what sounded the best from the last show, what I want to get rid of, what I want to add. You know, yeah. I'm constantly, Rob and I were talking about this in Jacksonville, like we're constantly looking for new songs to play, like 24-7. If I hear a song, I add it to my playlist. I want to test it, like... I'm like, does this sound good? But I try to listen to it yep. in this car, you know? But sometimes, you know, the songs that you know work on your bike that sound the best, like, I always feel like I'm like, I want to play the same songs over and over again, but, you know, it sounds the best on your bike. Why would I play a new song just to play a new song when yep. something's work? So, you know, it's perfecting those playlists before every show, you know, having them down. Um, I always write, I, this goes to my nerves. I have to write down my little notes to myself. You'll see me in the ring of my little piece of paper sometimes, you know, and that's just like, like I said, I'm so nervous in there. I feel like I black out sometimes. Like, I'm like what happened? <laughs> like, you know, so you know, I make my little notes to myself. I have them and, you know, then it's just, that was one of the reasons why I always liked playing featherweight because you go in first, it's less of a chance. To freak out when you're playing some of those later classes, you're waiting around, and it almost makes your nerves even worse at that point. So that was another yeah, plus she, of playing featherweight was always. Yeah, she hasn't. She line. hasn't. Uh, she hasn't entered featherweight or lightweight this year. Yeah, no. in, in the two shows, and uh, it's been really, really hard. <laughs> and she's for me. She's like, yeah. she's itching. You know, she's like, man, I like. I liked my competitors in those classes. Yeah, so. no, I was mm -hmm. telling you, featherweight is my baby. Lightweight, I absolutely love. Those are my two favorite classes. So it's been really hard these past two shows not playing in either of them. You know, Jack says I am itching. Well, uh, she well, she supposed out. she supposedly retired before Super Bowl uh, mm -hmm. last year because she she had the you know the point standings on lock at that point and. Uh, Mm -hmm. uh, but then she heard there was a big build coming to Super Bowl that somebody was doing. So she didn't want to go down and, and be like, you know, the last show of the year, have somebody else, you know, come in and say, oh, they would have beat me. If they're going to beat me, they want to beat it. So she came out of time and they didn't even show up. Yeah, like, yeah. They didn't even show up. It's like, oh, my God. Well, so. you know, that's the bad part about, you know, if you're winning, then you got the target on your back. So, so unfortunately, people don't like your slingshot. You know, and then, right. and then, you know, you're lemon drop, so they don't really like you because you're winning, and it's it's just a competitive thing. You're like, man, I want to, ah, you know, it's just that's just what happens. Like, well, one thing get, I'll say is, I've always know? wanted to play the best, you know, and that's mm -hmm. I've wanted to push myself to whoever it is, whoever is in my class or the classes. Like, I don't want to run from a challenge. I want to face them. I want to challenge yep. myself to step in that ring because like we always say you know everyone goes back and forth but it's fun you know like, well, the whole point of this is to have fun you know so it's you know it's fun yep. to push yourself to motivate yourself to be yep. like can i beat this person can i do that and you know so i just my goal is always to play to want to play anyone who wants to yeah. <laughs> me i guess well yeah this is the last last year um you know how we 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 started out in um, sling experience. Well, right after that show, we were traveling um, a lot, and uh, so we didn't touch the bike. We didn't go to a lot of shows after that, so we missed uh, quite a bit of the season, and um, just did a couple here and there. But she was, I think, the the point the the in the standings in the SUTV standings. I think she was like four or five back behind the leaders. You know, mm -hmm. so when. Um, uh, when we brought the actual lemon drop back out and uh, started competing, she would literally make sure she would find out where the, the leaders were going to play and be and yeah. go there. And she's like, okay, so one of two things gonna happen. I'm going to be, the only way I can surpass them at some point is to go 
to that show and beat them. That way they don't get a win and I get a win, you know? Yeah. So, and that's literally what happened. So like, you know, yeah. she, um, it was just a good motivation. Like, yeah. It yeah. you to want to be better and work yep. harder. And, you know, mm -hmm. like, and like I said, I'm nervous anyway, so I might as well be nervous facing the back. Yeah. This, you know? yeah, yeah. Work, work through it, you know, work yeah. through that nervousness. And, you know, and it was a really good, it was a good motivation. You know, it did. It motivated yeah. us to want to go to these shows. And through that, you know, we, I, was introduced to this community you know this was jack's world 100 percent, and then i just you know show by show meeting everyone in this becoming a family having fun you know it really it was a whole world i didn't know existed mm -hmm. and now yeah. you know, seeing everyone at this first show this year it was like hi yeah yeah like it was amazing it was it is definitely fun yeah i think once uh you know once all the politics and the bs and the you know people getting caught up in their feelings you know is is when you put that aside it's fun to see everybody you know the people you haven't seen in a year or you know or yeah. six months or whatever it's, it is cool it definitely and you know what you were saying about you know everyone or a lot of people not liking lemon drop you know yeah. i get it but you know i think one of the positive oh things... you're, you're good they all have, they all have game changer now yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Exactly. Like, yeah, he's got uh, he's got the mark on his back now. Yeah. yeah. Oh, but you know, I feel like it did it motivated a lot of shops and it pushed a lot of shops to get back into the to get back in there and rebuild. Yep. And you know, and now I'm excited to see what's gonna come from that. Like, you know, the next level things that mm -hmm. you know it's, it's motivated, it's pushed other shops to come up with creative things. So, you know, so now it's gonna be a whole year of kind of seeing what everyone else has come up with as well. So and then it's pushed Jack to <laughs> rise to that level too so yeah it's gonna be exciting to see it'll be a fun year you know with the with the the rules the different rules and in, in a couple different platforms mm -hmm. um it, it'll be fun to see you know what these bikes do like you know black Ma um mamba came out mm -hmm. uh, i think she's a middleweight um but you know under the other rules she's she's a heavyweight so you know it's not too far off but um it's definitely going to be cute, you know, cool to see like what, um, where everybody's going to place, you know, like, so, I mean, we don't even really know exactly where we're going to place, I guess. So mm -hmm. what, what we're going to do, you know, yeah. we're just back basically. So, mm -hmm. so do you know what shows are going to be up next? Uh, we are coming to sling experience. Um, I'm, I, I don't know if we're entering, uh, we're going to be there to support Rob for sure. Mm -hmm. um it just depends so we don't know i mean it's we, like i said we've had no time to really do a whole lot so mm -hmm. yeah it ought to be fun we'll see i'm sure you say that and you show up and you get the other way he really uh, built 10 lemon drops in the office yeah. <laughs> he got six trailers six trailers pulling all uas you know yeah. i really just uh, spent this off season learning how to drive a trailer how to, no. how to he's gonna have one in the flyway but we, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, you know you know if i had if i had uh if i had london this weekend i probably would have built a flyweight for her just to go out and have some fun so yeah. she that would be she cool loves, that would she's be been, cool. been, that would have been fun. she's been in the slingshot community since she was a year old like mm -hmm. literally um well, and let her play it two three yeah no i mean i remember she was in a car seat Riding around Atlanta at SS Takeover in 2015, <laughs> and then we it was like two years the, old. Me and her did the commercial for the UAS uh, Air Blasters. Oh, the Air Blasters, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. She's, well, you know, she's TikTok famous. So yeah. like, she posts a she posts a video of a candy drawer, and she gets four hundred thousand views. I'm like, holy crap! <laughs> you know, like what the hell? What is this TikTok stuff? You know? <laughs> They don't want us oh guys on TikTok, so oh my gosh, no. Yeah. Exactly. But, that's that's why my TikTok is just for my dog. It's not for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that one. It's for Ursula, it's not me. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, no, it's I mean, but um, so we'll see. I don't know what mm -hmm. um you know, I like I said, we um we do have some builds at the shop that are uh are going to be coming out from not for not not builds for for 
um, Sarah or any. <laughs> no more lemons. <laughs> no more. No more. No more lemons. Something. No more, no more lemons. Um, but uh, we've got a few that are coming out at different levels, so that'll be fun to see. And the family, the team is yeah, to growing grow, to grow the. So team UAS is the family because you know, like I said, family. I told Sarah la this year. I said we just we're not going to be able to travel as much as we did last year. So mm -hmm. you know, but. I am excited to see everybody uh, in Texas. We will be there Friday, so mm -hmm. that'll be the cool. latest. <clears throat> are y'all uh, are y'all going to get in the scooter game now? Like, you know, get you a scooter and do some paint pods <laughs> on it. Yeah. He did say he well, wants you, to paint them yellow. Well, we, <laughs> he said that to get me. Get a yellow scooter, it wasn't yeah, aid or something. Well, we love our scooters. You know, we we had the scooters in Maggie Valley years ago, and then mm -hmm. you know, I don't know if you remember. Like, I don't know if you were there or not, but I remember we, one uh, of the, one of them in. Uh, in Houston, one of the SS takeovers, you had your scooter, and I'm like, man, I need a scooter. Like, you know, I tell I you, kept saying it, but so, it so we were we were just in Atlanta dropping off a slingshot um, to a customer, and um, we had the trailer, the the big trailer, and then the RV, and we went to this little area that was that was really um, like trendy. There was no parking anywhere, so we had to park like two miles down the road, at a, at a, at a, and then we literally scootered in. What an amazing, I mean, what a, those things are great. When you go down the keys, you just park and then scooter everywhere, you know. Nice. So it's uh I, I tell you, those things that shows are great. I don't know. I yeah. I got the nine bot, I don't know, there's different versions, but you can get them on sale for six hundred bucks. The thing will go like twenty miles an hour and it goes for seven, eight miles, you know. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. I had a, one of my customers, he we're in like Texas City and he he has like an Airbnb like not too far away and he's on the scooter like going to the grocery store just all kind of shit like yeah that. well it's perfect because we we usually have a four-seater with us so we throw them in the back of the four-seater yeah and yeah, they yeah. literally just and go anywhere like i said in the keys or something like that it's because you can't park there anywhere you know so yeah find one spot and then just scoot around so that's perfect but yeah, yeah. We're, but no i think we're gonna put like a 70 inch tv on one and bring it to <laughs> that's, that's ridiculous you know only dumb people do that kind of stuff yeah i don't know who does that <laughs> you know but well, he built he built lemon he built lemon drop 1.0 in in nine days you got about four to do a to do a scooter so yeah, i can only yeah. imagine what he could do in four days on a scooter yeah. I think we're leaving. I think we're leaving on Wednesday. So theoretically, oh, well, it's one. We have one day. It. Yeah. Well, that's what Can happened last year. It? Last year. Last year we vendored and we brought a bunch of uh, uh, slingshots and stuff like that. So we actually had to leave early to go up to Texas. So that you know that's why it was nine days because we lost three days of travel and setup and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. you know, but yeah, it's a. It's coming up, yeah. I guess we got to Wednesday, so tomorrow night I'm pretty. I'm sure we'll stay the night at the shop working, and yeah, you know, it's always well, tough. I tell myself every year, it's like I'm not working on my shit two days yeah. before sling experience. I'm not doing it, and then it's so hard not to. It's oh, not she got, to win. yeah. <laughs> well, it's funny. We weren't we weren't going to enter in Tampa, and she she get, comes in on Monday to the shop and hands the. We we just drove back from Colorado. She hands the guys a list on Monday and says, here, I need this done by Thursday. We needed to change the <laughs> giant things. <laughs> oh, the tombstones, <laughs> yeah. So it was a, it was a misunder... See, I was in Colorado sending pictures and, and descriptions of what I wanted for the tombstones. Mm -hmm. And there, I think there was a communication error because <laughs> we ended up the being extra time. long right <laughs> before Super Bowl was too late. You know, so. Nice. It <laughs> was needed to go. So that was... <laughs> My one stipulation. Yeah. Crush. So I have them available. You could always do like six twelves and two two stones if you want. Nice. They'll be they'll be part of the sale too. Yeah. <laughs> Even though, 20% <laughs> off if somebody wants those. Yeah, that's crazy. 50% off. <laughs> but it is. It's, it's never ending. You can always get carried away and do you know. Do ridiculous stuff trying to keep up with you know slingshot audio competitions, and that's why. I tell everybody, don't do it, man. Don't don't do it. It's fun. It is fun yeah. as long as you keep it that way. And because if you if you get too competitive and and you just stop, it's because you're literally spending all this money to base it on you know three random dudes' ears. <laughs> yeah. That yeah. By the third round, 
you can't hear anymore. So That's, I don't yeah. know how it's, I have such respect for anyone who judges any it's show. Yes. Because like, <laughs> I swear to God, it's so hard for me to even listen to my own bike that like just practicing sometimes. And then at the end of it, I'm like, I can't hear anything. So I don't know yeah. how they all day sometimes, yeah. literally all day. So much respect and love for <laughs> everyone who judges. So um, the IT guys are basically saying that um, um, they're seeing what's wrong. They have to go uh, actually to the shop and do it uh, for some reason. But uh, we will have that live. But if somebody has a cart or puts a cart in and um, and just sends it to me, I'll honor it. Or they can just check out uh, a little bit it'll later on. It, it'll, 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 it was meant to go at midnight tonight, but I, I, I had them release it early. But I guess something uh, is going on. But... Um, if, if somebody's not available to go in the cart tomorrow, just take a screenshot and DM me. Um, it's Jack Polabinski on uh, Facebook or uh, Instagram. And um, I'll honor it tomorrow and I'll process it tomorrow. But um, it will it will work in probably less than an hour. So cool. Once again, what's the coupon code? Uh, lemon 40. Hold on. Oh, Let me is. show you guys. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Need the card. Lemon 40. Yes, anyone needs to know. Perfect. I just wanted to make people type lemon. It's really. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> <laughs> Where this one came from. Hey, Jack, tell them a few of the restrictions uh, so they're not trying to. Yeah, so the coupon code will not work on um, alternator. Um any package that has speakers or amplifiers involved, batteries involved, um, like the combos um, and the OEM center headlight. So if you're doing the 2020 conversion and you want the OEM factory center headlight, it does not include those items. Anything that is made by UAS, which is again, 99.9% .9 of the items, those are all included. Um, so, uh, all speaker pods by themselves, all battery trays. Um, we have a battery tray for all years that fits three batteries up front. We have a battery tray that fits one in the back. Um, all deep dish floors, uh, a customer brought up, uh, fantastic product. It will include those. All subwoofer enclosures that are in current production. So the standard ported, um, the slide-in enclosure, which is this little sealed enclosure, um the xl ported um and um uh what else xl fenders the xl fillers regular speaker pods all the headrest pods all the waterfalls um everything's included so nice yeah that's a good sale man people definitely need to take advantage of that because <laughs> yeah yeah i mean it's dealers even dealers you know i mean um you know, don't get mad at me, but you know, buy it on this because <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah, it's a one day sale, so you know, yeah. one yeah, day sale. Yeah. So it'll be live all day tomorrow, and then it will be live at some point tonight. I apologize that uh, um, that people can't check out right now, but you know, if you're not going to be available to get on your computer or phone tomorrow, then just send me the uh, the cart and I'll have um. We'll have our people uh, make sure that you get taken care of. So, cool. And that code is yeah. only on here on Slingshot or Garage. So make sure we sell yep. everything in his shop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. exactly. uh, yeah, that's a good deal, Jack. That's a hell of a deal. No, yeah. I mean, so we make other stuff too, um, like Jeep, truck, um, Riker stuff. So that's all included. I know this isn't uh, that forum, but, you know, that would be all included in that too. So. Uh, anything on your site, right? Anything that's listed on the site is, yes. so, except for, uh, again, certain items. And they'll, you'll probably be able to check out on it, um, but we'll have to cancel the order. So anything that includes um, those I'll items that- Make that a I, post. They'll make a post too that will list it all. I'll do what I always do. I'll let Sarah make the post and I'll just share it. <laughs> I'll make a post on Jack's. Teamwork. That will, that will list everything out, <laughs> clearly. <laughs> You uh, we we appreciate that to all the members uh, for the discount code. So thank you very much for that. Yeah, no, absolutely. And uh, you know, I just want to say, uh, you know, I love what 
um, what all you guys do with the podcast and stuff like that. And, um, uh, you know, let's keep this slingshot community growing and, and, and glowing, you know, let's, uh, uh, keep the drama out of everything and, um, mm -hmm. you know, just have fun. I was very excited for the first two shows of the year. It was really nice to see everybody just smiling and enjoying and having fun. So, mm -hmm. you know, I think some of the drama is they're, they're cooped up all winter, you know, they don't get to go out and play and then you finally get to that first show and then, you know, we're all good again. We're family again. Yeah. Yeah. That's exactly what happens. Everybody gets like COVID. They're all cooped up and <laughs> you turn into like Twitter gangsters on the keyboard. It's like, man, <laughs> you're not like that in pro in public. You're not, you're not like that. Why, yeah. why are you doing this? So yeah, it's life's too short, man. You got to calm down and have fun because you know, anything dumb can happen overnight. So just enjoy yeah, I mean, it. This isn't that All right. serious. Well, thank you guys for being on. Thank you, Rob, for being on. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you, Jack, for being on. Um, if you want to uh, to promote something that you have coming up, Jack, you want to promote the company, uh, you're more than welcome to go ahead. Yeah. Oh, me. Um, <laughs> well, I guess it was what? Just <laughs> um, we were discussing what Lemon Drop was going to be this season and i guess we just wanted to let you know should we tell them I, mean, we, I don't even i don't even moment? know so this, I'm, I'm hearing this for the first time too what are you paying well, for jack yeah what's your vote what do you think i mean i don't know it's gonna be very hard to keep her out of the uh the lower classes she she loves that she almost prefers that over the higher classes. So, so, so far this season. And I guess. <laughs> everything but lightweight, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> no, so, so far this season, I've been welterweight. And I've had an absolute blast being a part of that class. Um, and then I've played up in middle and heavy. And that's been fun getting to play against some absolute monsters up there. But like Jack said, my heart will forever be in Feather and Light, and I haven't played yet this season in Feather and Light, and that's been really hard. And then I was super disappointed at the end of the last season with the rule change because I was told that Lemon Drop was no longer a featherweight, and that broke my heart. And so that was very difficult for me to get over. Um, so we've been going back and forth as to what to play, what class, what do I want to do, because, you know, I've had fun in all of them, but I've decided... This is the moment I have decided that I really, really don't want to decide. So Lemon Drop will be playing in every class, <laughs> in every class this oh, season. <laughs> so you've got one day to make that happen. Rob, <laughs> we're coming after you. <laughs> so wait, wait. One day, <laughs> so nothing's changed? Nothing's um, changed? Not yet. You've got a day. <laughs> yeah. No. Well, you know, and that's that's the way to do it, though, because, like, you know, last year, so 2023, you're definitely featherweight of the year. Like, everybody has their own scorecard, but it facts are facts. So, you know, featherweight of the year. So let's say if Rob can pull off, you know, lightweight of the year, you know, with, the, you know. Which he will. His new build. We'll okay. see. I think he can. I think he's got super potential, you know, and then. You know, let's see who can pull off welterweight of the year. See if they can all be underground auto styling bills. You know? <laughs> yeah. That's, uh, that great. would be the shop goal, you know, like, you know, even if they were a featherweight and then they're lightweight of the year, or if they're a lightweight and they're welterweight of the year, like, you know, you, you know, that's a good goal, you know, shit. It's, yeah. Well, I mean, are we talking like, like, are we talking like official scorecard or are we just talking across the board? Cause oh, that's, that's really, that's, <laughs> Well, last last year the scorecard, um, the SGTV scorecard was was a huge factor in the shows that that we attended. You know, mm -hmm. so um, it was um, to see like, oh, they're four four wins ahead. Where do we have to go? What shows are doing it? And then what's cool is like you had every platform. I mean, I know this year. You know, it um, didn't motivate it. it motivated. Yeah, no, definitely it pushed us. It, you know, like. This year with the rule changes that they're different. So, you know, I, I don't know how you could really, you know, I questioned how is a featherweight that is six, six and a halfs with 
zero, like stock with sock tubs, how are you going to compete against a bike with giant BBLs or, you know, a mini stretch? Like it's, it's very difficult because you're not going to get that base, you know, like, yeah. um, you know, I know Ted hasn't, hasn't heard, well, he heard Lemon Drop, but he hasn't heard Rob's bike. I mean, yep. to get that kind of base in an open air vehicle is next to impossible. And, mm -hmm. but you have to have something modified to do it. You have to have something larger than just a factory tub to get that kind of, um, you know, base. It's so math. how, how in the world can a lightweight, um, with factory tubs have a chance of competing against somebody with, um, you know, massive, um, speaker enclosures of some kind on them. Yeah. And so it's not, it's, it's, you know, it's not really fair. So, you know, it's tough. It's tough. It's tough on the scorecard thing. And last year was easier because it was whatever you decided to build and bring. And it, yeah. it included every platform. So, yeah. I mean, I think this season will prove that um, no matter what you change the rules to, like innovative shops like UAS, like all these other shops out there, you know, across the yep. country, innovative shops will always be able to build something, will always be able to build monsters. You know, you change the rules, but, you know, if you're a good shop, if you've got those skills, you know, you're going to find a way to build something within those rules to win. So mm -hmm. that's why I'm excited to see what everyone's done in the off season. You know whether they're chasing you know whatever level but mm -hmm. i think it's going to be interesting to see yep exactly to see <clears throat> i keep saying i just that. think I, it, over, I said over and over and over until they start counting tweeters it's not going to be fair <laughs> yeah well, <laughs> i'm kicking you off right now I, I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna tell you right now i i I agree and disagree on the tweeter. What? No. <laughs> as far as, I have, but I, but I think there should be a size limit to the tweeter. I have fourteen tweeters, and and I know I'm better because of it. So it's like yes, it's no, but but what I'm saying is, so like the tweeters that are on like like you know Game Changer or Lemon Drop, they're just little tiny tweeters. They're not like they're not, but some of these tweeters yeah. that you see, yeah, I mean. They're, yeah. That's yeah. a friggin' <laughs> They're borderline, yeah. Like, my yeah. God. Yeah. I swear the tweeter was doing hair tricks. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, was this? <laughs> I won't. And it, yeah. it really, you know, and it doesn't mean it's going to sound, you know, I don't know. It, it doesn't mean it's going to be better, but if it's done right, it, it is better. You yeah. know, and I think. I think yeah, but, just, you know, no matter what, somebody's going to find a loophole in, yeah. in, in whatever it is. So it's competition. You know, yeah. I mean, and that's, and that's where the innovation comes from a shop. They're going to create based on the rules. They're going to come up with something that's going to be acceptable within the rules and will, will maxim, you know, um, maximize the output and the sound and the clarity of that slingshot. Yep. So, exactly. You know, um, yep. it was, I mean, we heard for months that we were cheating. We were hiding speakers that it's impossible <laughs> For six, six and a half to sound like that. Like, you know. I probably had I was on that train. Yeah. yeah. I was I on mean, that train for a minute. I mean, let's face it, this bike you can't you can't against, make that sound. Yeah. I mean, literally went against welterweights, middleweights, like true, not like you know, like champions, and kept up. Like, yeah. and it's like, but it's 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 called innovation. Yeah. That's <laughs> not it. cheating, it's innovation. Right. Yep. Never have I had so many people crawl literally under yeah. my bike in it over. It, but but by the end of that bike, right? But by the end of the year, I think it, there, I think there was a respect because they figured out, okay, no, they're not cheating, you know. And then you yeah. know, we also heard, oh, Jack will never build uh, a, a customer a bike like that. Yeah. Hello, Rob. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Sarah, I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. I am happy that it is you. All right. But like, Rob, don't apologize. Jack can have something out tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. Like that's who Jack is. If Jack was a judge in a not that it would ever happen, but if he was judging and it was me versus you, he's not gonna automatically pick me because it's me. Like that's how he is. He's going to pick the best. He's going to build you the best, even <clears> in my class to beat me. Like that's mm -hmm. unfortunately for me, but 
Well, that's the way it should be, though. I mean, anyone that judges, you know, I mean, I've 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 gone against back in the day, like when when it weren't that many people competing or judges. I went against my own build. You know, my customer got mad at me, and I'm like, no, the the other person sounded better. It was clearer, or, you know, or you screwed up, or you know, something. So, but that's the way it should be in life. You know, just do your thing, stay in your lane. Yep. And um, yeah, know. and then every once in a while, you know, you gotta you gotta show people who you are, and that's kind of what y'all did. You know, you <laughs> you made your parts, you did your thing, and it was like Jack don't really build winners. He don't really compete. Oh yeah. Uh, and it was like, and I heard that for a few years. <laughs> and then it was like, oh. Okay, I got you. And I think the exact words were, "Jack's not relevant in sound competition." <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> or something yeah. like that. <laughs> like, His parts like, are cool, but you don't really win with blah blah blah. And I'm like, nah. "All right, you're poking the bear, man. He's <laughs> if he if he decides he won't, he will spend the money." Where you know, at, yeah. that's, that's where it comes into like with a with a shop. Like, is it worth you spending the money? Can you get any of that money back, or is that literally you accept that and just throw it away well or, so know, it worked out with lemon drop you right yeah no absolutely it. but you know people say so that was another thing oh it's a shop build this and that it's you can get the free parts do you want to know what lemon drop used as her first subwoofer for the first three months what's that a massive sumo 10 inch subwoofer nice i believe it yeah i believe it too <laughs> prv Twenty dollar tweeters. Mm -hmm. Actually, I think they're still in there. Maybe. <laughs> I think I, <laughs> Actually, I mean, so it doesn't. It's not necessarily like the equipment. It's all about the tuning and the frequency range that you mm -hmm. give to each speaker, and the placement, and things like that. And then it doesn't, you know, hurt when you have somebody that spends a lot of time on playlists <laughs> and, and, yeah. and fine tuning volume control. Like volume control is is key. Like if you if you know where your loudest speaker is on the bike or the one that breaks down the easiest and you stand there and listen to that speaker, mm -hmm. it you can literally keep your volume max. So you can go from feather and keep it down and sandbag mm -hmm. and go to light and keep it down a little bit. And then all of a sudden keep, what, that same bike can go wide open in, in welter or middle. And everybody's like, wow, the hell do you have that sound? Well, Mm -hmm. If you break down, it's not that big a deal as much in in middle because you're not even supposed to win. <laughs> <You know>? Yeah. <laughs> so you know, but that's but that's the key. So you you know, it's it's the competitor and the playlist. You have to put in the time. If you want to win, you have to put in the time. You can't just go there and just mm -hmm. play anything and win. Yeah, once in a while you might get lucky and something like that. Yeah. But to consistently win over and over when everybody's chasing you. Yep. You've got to stay on top of your game. And that was yeah. the biggest thing. Like, I knew the pressure of being in that ring. I knew that feeling. And like, like you said, the first half of the season, like, I did lose. Like I wasn't unbeatable last year. Like I, the first, first couple of shows, like I lost and mm -hmm. I had that feeling. And I was like, I don't want to feel this ever yeah. again, yeah. you know, and we worked and I practiced and I played and I, you know, we struggled, but it was just like, it was a learning curve because I had no idea what I was doing at first. And, you know, like Jack taught me, he taught me the volume control. Then I just went out there and I listened and I practiced and I walked around that bike and I heard what the judges were hearing. And I was like, no wonder they hated this song. Like, that's terrible, you know, like, and it took me time to learn my bike and learn the volume and get that practice in. And then it, it did, it made Mm -hmm. Huge difference. Yeah, she's at a show just dominating, and I mean, much much bigger build as far as overall sound, and she's playing against a, a really pretty sounding slingshot, and she sends it to the moon, and I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> she said, and and she lost, you know, and yeah. she should have lost, yeah, you know, she she took a raspy country or hard <laughs> metal rock song and <laughs> literally took the volume. <laughs> Way up there. I mean, and, <laughs> I didn't know what I was doing yet. Okay, I panicked. But guess what? Once she figured it out, mm -hmm. it was a learning lesson. Yeah, yeah. you learn we, from mistakes, right? We heard that song Absolutely. on the radio the other day. It came on, and we were both uh, like, "Oh, <laughs> just the love the song." <laughs> <laughs> PTSD moments in that ring. <laughs> And there you go. Jack's face doesn't hide anything. I, if I mess up and I look over at him, he's just like. <laughs> like, I, I'm just like, I messed up. I know I did it. Like, 
he does not <laughs> hide any emotion. Like you could cheer for me. Like after he's just like, no, yeah. I will not cheer for him. <laughs> the worst performance ever. <laughs> he's the worst wingman ever. I will say that. <laughs> So the discount code is lemon40 for 40% off of Underground Auto Styling's <clears throat> webpage. So all the parts that they manufacture, so not batteries, not speakers, not that kind of stuff, but manufactured parts that they build. So fender pods, speaker pods, you know, anything and everything that you want to buy that's Underground Auto Styling, that lemon40 is your code. So 40% off, which, you know, everybody needs to take advantage of that. I mean, that's a deal. So Yeah, that's 40%. a deal. Hopefully people have some savings put aside so they can, you know, <laughs> flourish a little bit. And then, uh, so yeah, we're going to see Rob this weekend, Friday for sure. So I'll be there. Yeah. Thursday, so, uh, unless, unless he blows all this crap up Thursday night from, uh, <laughs> Thursday, you know, this is my message to the Slingshot community. Do not encourage Rob to play his band. <laughs> <laughs> no, everybody encourage him. him. But you know what? I'm, that's, I'm that's easily awesome. influenced. Yeah, somebody hide his keys. <laughs> right. Starting on Thursday. Until Friday right? night. And it's not just play his bike. It's for hours. He won't stop. <laughs> hey, don't worry about it. We're going to run him over to the Slingshot of Amigos tent, and we're going to get him drunk because they, they always have Oh, yeah, I know. We're going to turn oh. loose. Listen, I, I, I was told specifically to stay away from them. Yes, don't, don't even hang out with anyone. It's just a party, Rob. Friday night. It's a party, Rob. <laughs> I yeah. hear it. I hear it. Well, I'm looking. I'm looking so forward to sling experience. Uh, you know, obviously this will be my first one ever, and um, I'm look. I'm I, I'm I'm excited for every part of it. You know, from the 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 push slingshot race to the exhaust competition, the sound competition, the rides, the everything. It's 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 yeah. supposed to be a a good time, and I'm looking forward to it. Can't wait to hang out with some great people in the slingshot community. Nice, yes, sir. Well, Rob, you're in trouble because they're already. He's already posting. He's got gummies too, so you're in trouble. No. Oh, no. oh no! Make some speakers, Jack. Do not take candy from strangers, Rob. Listen to me. <laughs> yes. Just say no. And I, if you know me, I don't even drink. I don't drink. So if you see me with a drink in my hand, it probably ain't good. Oh no! Yes. Yeah, I'm not a drinker either, so we're good. We, I got diet coke. And <laughs> I got plenty of water. water and my cooler, yeah. ready to go. I, I have a lemonade. No. Yeah, I'm bored. I, I'm bored. I, I okay. do the opposite right. of Jack before shows. I'm the same way. I'm I had your lemonade the other day. It tastes kind of funny. It's not lemonade. Yeah. <laughs> it was really good lemonade. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Jack, it hit different. Gosh. It hit different. Yeah, San Sandy couldn't stop drinking it either. <laughs> <laughs> Rob, stay away from Jack too prior to the show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm the worst. <laughs> <Stop>. <laughs> All right. Again, again we appreciate y'all for, uh, for popping on. Thank you very much. And uh, and uh, everybody, the code is lemon forty. If it's not up now, it will be up by midnight. You have until tomorrow. Make sure we sell them out. Make sure he goes to the poorhouse. <laughs> um, lemon forty. Yeah, that's, that's you guys. And we will see y'all right. this weekend. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Thanks for having Thank me so on. Much. Enjoy it. Yeah, and bye, um, right, Rob. Have a safe drive home. Or not home, wherever you are. Where are those <laughs> oh, yeah, Texas. <laughs> All right. Thank, thank you, guys. guys. All right, guys. Good night. Good thank you so All right. much. All righty. All right, Jonathan. So let's uh, clean up a couple things. So, again, for everybody, they are giving out a Slingshot Audio Slingshot Audio Garage um, discount code. It is LEMON40. You can buy anything that they make there, but it does not go for batteries. It does not go for alternators. The uh, middle light, uh, it doesn't go for that. So anything that they make there, and it doesn't have to be for Slingshot. They have Jeeps. They have other things that they sell. The uh, coupon code is also good for that. Um, but it has to be, uh, It's only he's only promoted here on Slingshot Audio Garage. It's only for the, the members. So make sure you tell a friend and, and, um, and uh, put the coupon code when you check out. If you cannot, if you want to buy it tonight and it's not up yet, he's just Pay for it. Send him a screenshot of that you actually paid for it, and he will make sure you get the discount code applied. So that's perfect. Um, and then ahead. we've got our our charity auctions. We're gonna Ted's gonna set those up tomorrow at 10, <clears throat> 10 a.m. or by ten a.m. And uh, we'll we'll uh, list basically all the parts and all the uh, vendors that are gonna give away something on one post, and then uh, we'll do them individually so that you could bid on those posts. So they'll be at the top of our page. 
and uh, that way you can bid on it, and uh, you know, hopefully you win. So all the money is going to go to the uh, Pediatric Brain Tumor Foundation, which we will do the drawing, or the now the winners you'll know like an hour uh, before the drawing, and um, we'll do that at the Sling Amigos tent uh, during the Sling experience. So get out of here. So it ought to be it'll be a lot of fun, and you know, hopefully, you know, we could raise the money for a good cause, and somebody can. Um, uh, more than more than somebody, a few people can win some really really cool stuff. So we really appreciate it. Remember, it's for charity. So bid with your wallets and not your hearts. I mean, not yep. your brains. Yeah, exactly, exactly. You know, over overpay for something because it's not going to the person who sold it to you. It's not going to us. It's going to the Pediatric Brain Tumor Foundation. So there's a lot, a lot more, a lot of people out there that are less fortunate than us. So we have a lot of money to throw away. So let's let's throw it in one of the buckets to. Uh, for the foundation. And uh, also we're going to have the, the pose off, you know, the JT versus bionic, you know, that's really gained some traction, you know, on the slingshot out of garage page. You know, we, 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 we like that. We appreciate that. So hopefully, you know, it's not just going to be some people, you know, posing on their slingshot, trying to call somebody else out. Let me see it at the sling experience. You know, let me see your bucket with your name on it. And let's see, you know, if you can, Let's see how much money you can earn for charity, and uh, maybe you're going to win the trophy, you know, the V trophy, which is the JT versus Bionic trophy, which, I mean, this thing is, it's got to be that high. So, <laughs> you know, it takes it's a lot of strength to carry a trophy like that. So hopefully you can win it. And uh, we've seen, you know, Black Mamba posing, you know, we got Rob was posing. I mean, a lot of people were posing and calling out others. So that's super cool. So hopefully... Hopefully we get some more people involved, you know, let's bring it back to fun and, and not so, not so competitive and being upset about nothing. So let's be silly and have fun. Also remember, we will be doing a live uh, podcast from the, um, the Amigos tent at 10 o'clock on Friday night. That's going to be a party in itself. I believe SoFlo is going to be there too. So it's just going to be a big party. We're all, we're all there to have fun. Hopefully we can uh, do some poses there while we're there and, and uh it'll be a good time they're gonna they always have food there drinks there so it's gonna be a party hey why why are the amigos dude asking me uh jt you know how to ride a bull i, I don't know what that's i i don't know i don't know they what have, you've been like, what you're into bull? like is that a mechanical bull we're talking about because I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm out i'm out on that <laughs> miguel what's he talking about what, what's going on with the bull i'm scared I know, I know. Maybe he's talking about mechanical bull, and everybody's gonna go drinking. I don't, I don't know. But Tanya says she's gonna have the liquid IV. Okay, we're gonna need that. Yeah. Oh, he did say he says this year we were having a mechanical bull. <laughs> That's ridiculous. No, did he? <laughs> That's ridiculous. Oh, this is gonna be crazy. Awesome. This is gonna be crazy. <laughs> That's gonna be a good event, man. If you're not as a sling experience, you're you're gonna be missing out for sure. Absolutely. But but definitely. Well, yeah, I'm excited to see everybody. So three three short days away. Uh, just remember um, that following Monday, we're going to have Elvin on, a Diamond Design, um, for our first guest after the Sling Experience. And then we're going to have Jonathan Price will be on the, the following Monday. And then uh, Jimmy, James McCray of uh, SS Takeover. He'll be on the, the last guest of, the, of April. Mm -hmm. So it should nice. be a fun time. Definitely. Well, cool, man. I think that's all I got. So, yep, that's so all I'll I got. See everybody on Friday, then at the Amigos tent, and uh, we'll try to keep it PG thirteen. Uh, we gotta let it all go. I know. We'll put the we'll, we'll blur out some things. Yeah, so you have the blur <laughs> in the background, like we're watching cops or something. Yeah, <laughs> it's perfect. All right, see y'all later. All right, take it easy. <laughs> Thank you.